Hey guys, in this video we will make concept map of absorption, transport and storage of iron. Let's get started. Dietary iron is in two forms. Inorganic iron which is found in plants and heme which is found in animal sources. Heme is absorbed more efficiently than inorganic iron. Inorganic iron forms complexes with other substances in food like phosphate, oxalate, tetracycline, etc. These complexes are not absorbed and are lost in feces. On the other hand, heme do not form such complexes. This explains to some extent why heme is absorbed more efficiently. Now let's see the process of absorption. Absorption of iron mostly takes place in duodenum. Inorganic iron is usually in form of ferric ions. However, this form is not absorbed. For absorption, it first undergoes reduction to ferrous form. This reduction is catalyzed by ferric reductase present on the membrane of intestinal cells. The reduction is supported by ascorbic acid, cysteine, acidity, etc. So presence of these things in lumen increases absorption of iron. Now divalent metal transporter 1 present on the membrane of androcyte carries out uptake of ferrous ion into the cell. Heme is taken up into the cell by heme carrier protein 1. In cell, heme is split by heme oxygenase to produce biliverdine and ferrous ion. From here, ferrous ion has two routes to go. First one is oxidation by ferroxidase to form ferric ion. This in turn binds with apoferritin to form ferritin. Ferritin in enterocyte is part of iron storage in body. When needed, ferritin frees up ferric ion which in turn is reduced by ferroreductase to regenerate ferrous ion. The other route is extrusion into the blood. This is carried out by ferroportin present on the basolateral side of the enterocyte. Which route will iron take depends on body's need. You might have heard that iron metabolism is unique in a way that it is regulated at the level of absorption rather than excretion. Excess of iron in the body favors formation of ferritin in intestinal cells. Here iron is stored for 2 to 4 days. If not used in that period, iron is lost in feces due to mucosal shedding. On the other hand, lack of iron favors its absorption into the blood. This in turn will also favor separation of iron from ferritin. Now let's go to blood. After extrusion from enterocyte, ferrous ion undergo oxidation to produce ferric ion. This oxidation can be catalyzed by hephaestin present on the enterocyte membrane or ceruloplasmin present in the blood. Ferric ion then binds with apotransferrin to form transferrin. Transferrin is transport form of iron. Cells utilizing iron for example liver, spleen and bone marrow have transferrin receptors on the membrane. It binds with transferrin. Receptor transferrin complex thus formed undergoes endocytosis into the cytoplasm. Here it releases iron. Then the receptor apotransferrin complex is externalized to the cell membrane. Finally both separates and we get apotransferrin and free receptor to bring in more iron. Iron in the cell is utilized for various metabolic needs. Excess iron binds with apoferritin to form ferritin. Some of the ferritin gets converted to hemosiderin. This ferritin and hemosiderin represents iron storage in liver, spleen and bone marrow. That's all about absorption, transport and storage of iron. We made total 78 connections in this concept map. I hope you got them all. If you like this video, please share it with your study partners too. And don't forget to subscribe because lots more to come. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.